Joining me now from Dartmouth, Massachusetts, Sheriff of Bristol County, M.A., Thomas Hodgson. Sheriff, uh, you uh, are emitting from your office uh, rather uh, red statements in a, in a very blue state. <laughs> I'm sure you're catching some heat for it. But when you stand with the president on this issue in terms of border security and deporting illegal immigrants, uh, this is a stand with law and order. Well, Graham, there's no question about it. And it isn't just standing with the president. It's standing with the American people and the people who I represent in this county and sheriffs representing counties across this nation. We made a promise uh, when we took our oath of office to do everything we could to keep the citizens of our community safe and use every available resource to us uh, to make sure that happens. When Congress is debating uh, the number of beds, this was uh, insanity to me, and I'm sure it was insanity to you. This is crazy talk because, as you pointed out when you were with the president, this limits your ability to arrest people. There's a cap on the number of people you can put in a jail. Imagine if, if, if the governor of your state said, hey, you're, we're going to cap the number of people you can arrest and put in your jail. This essentially is the message that we're sending to illegal immigrants and the coyotes and the drug dealers, the drug cartels, MS-13. We're sending them the message that, hey, once the United States hits a limit, hits all the beds being filled, guess what? They're going to have to catch us and release us. Yeah, and that's not the worst message. The worst message in all that is the message that goes to the American people who we're charged with protecting, and that is, look, when we get to that limit, uh, I'm sorry, but we're going to let these people continue to prey on you in neighborhoods across this country because we just decided that we want to create a limit, and um, and anybody that goes beyond that, there will they're welcome to just sort of move freely around our communities and commit crimes against innocent people. You're coming up with a great idea. I, I read it in one of the articles that was blasting you, by the way, for your support of strong borders and, and strong national security. Uh, and that is possibly using inmates from your jails to help build the wall. I think that's a fantastic idea. And I'm sure other sheriffs are joining you in, in that possibility. Yeah, you know, Graham, I've always believed that we should be utilizing every resource available to us to cut the cost for people running these prisons and giving the inmates at the same time, the ones that volunteer, the opportunity to go out and do something good for their country or their community. We do it in communities across this uh, nation where we do work projects. And uh, it, not just the wall, but Flint, Michigan could be another example where you get inmates who volunteer to go do some national initiative where they get clean water two years faster than they otherwise could because they don't have the money to do it right away. So it just makes all the sense in the world. And, you know, inmates will be helping to preserve jobs for themselves and their kids by keeping illegals from coming in here and taking jobs and also uh, not getting their kids involved in perhaps the drug problem that maybe they're serving time for by keeping these drugs out of our communities. And some of your colleagues, of course, uh, especially in California and in New York, they're not uh, observing the uh, ICE retainers. Uh, they're not working with the federal government to help deport um, criminal illegal aliens, let alone garden variety uh, illegal aliens. Uh, I would imagine this runs counter to what and how you operate there in, in Bristol County. Here's a question, philosophically speaking. Do the good guys win in the end on this one? Do you think that the American people are going to connect the dots? This is about a civil society, this is about law and order, this is about keeping the peace and, and, and keeping the American society constitutional? Well, I sure hope so, because, um, look, I will tell you that the sheriffs of this nation are mobilizing, and um, we've, we've decided that we're not going to stand by any longer uh, and allow people who are in elected positions to undermine the law, create a special bubble for the people that are in the shadows to come out and be protected, and then tell the law-abiding people, you need to go into the shadows and be quiet. And law enforcement, you need to stop uh, exercising your authority to identify these people. It's hands off. And um, so, yeah, I think the American people are starting to get it. And they realize, look at every day we're adding to the angel moms and dads. And yep. now we have angel yep. children. Yeah, It's terrible. Well, the good guys uh, have to win on behalf of the American people. Otherwise, in the end, we lose this republic. Sheriff, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.